This video was brought to you by... Welcome to part two of Sheet Metal Art for Beginners. In part one, I showed you how we take 3 8 inch steel rod and bend it to make these cool shapes. If you missed it, click this link right here and go check that out. Sheet metal art for beginners by Mitchell Dillman. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to take 18 gauge sheet metal, cut it, form it, and weld it to make cool art just like this. So one of the reasons we've chosen to use this light gauge 3 8 inch rod and this 18 gauge cold rolled sheet metal is because it, uh, it's easy to manipulate by hand. You can pretty much bend it by hand without the use of heat or expensive tools. And all you need is this 18 gauge shear to cut it. Start by laying your piece flat on the sheet metal and tracing the inside edge keeping your pin as close to the framework as possible. Be sure to make a couple of reference marks which will become helpful as we begin to form and weld our sheet metal. And then we're just going to go right to this one. This will be number two. I always try to mark my shapes close together to eliminate waste. Now for this convex shape, it's a little different. For that, we're going to take this construction paper and make us a little template. Using a pencil or a piece of chalk, mark the inside edge of your framework. Tape the construction paper with the flat edge aligned to the bottom of your piece. Now just roll and press the construction paper to transfer your mark. So to cut this 18 gauge sheet metal, I'm going to be using my electric shear, I've got some tin snips, and I've got a cutoff wheel set up on my four and a half inch angle grinder. Now as you begin, you want to be sure to overcut your line by a full eighth of an inch. You can use your tin snips, but these electric shears will sure save you a bunch of time. So now that we've got all four of these pieces cut, it's time to start shaping and forming them to fit. We're going to start right here in this front. And you can see here, I'm just rolling it right around the edge of the table. Just like that. I use basic hand tools to help form the sheet metal. So you can see I'm, I'm watching this edge right here, and this is going to be hanging wide. We'll cut it off after we weld it on. Make sure your sheet metal is perfectly aligned before you make your first tack weld. Use your vice grips or pliers to begin pulling the sheet metal to the frame. Start your tack weld on the solid frame, drawing your pool to the sheet metal. Alright. Looks like we got 
got this thing all tacked off. It looks like a mess right now, but we'll get over here and trim off some of these overcuts, and then it's time to get this thing welded up. To avoid burning a hole in the sheet metal as you weld, be sure to direct most of the heat to the framework. Well, I'm going to keep welding on these seams. I want you to click subscribe and come on back for part three when I'm going to show you just how easy it is to grind, texture, and finish your masterpiece. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about MIG welding or sheet metal art for beginners, be sure to come see me live over at Google Helpouts. And if you're interested to see the details about how I made this project, be sure to click this link right here. And all of these original works are now available at MitchellDillman.com. Be sure to click the link in the description box below.